Hello and welcome back to another Galaxy of Heroes video. In this one we're going to be doing another, or the, the first really weekly update. I have been doing updates every now and again, but I'm going to start counting them by week. So I think this is week 65 of my account. I'm pretty sure, roughly anyway, but I'm going to be starting it from week 65. These videos are going to be coming every weekend, whether it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, around that point. So if you are interested in watching the progress of this account, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot. So let's get straight into where the account is actually at. As you can see, we're at 3.76 million GP, which is great. Almost finished BAM. Just got one more piece for him, which is, what's it called? What are these? We need these high post syringes. Only 17 more of him, and then he's up to relic levels, which is nice for my executor, executor fleet. Not going to bring him right up to Relic 5 straight away. Maybe just leave him at Relic 1 until I... Because I want to get SRKR done. And at Relic 1, he'll be fine. You know, at least I've got him up at Relic levels. And I do need to work on finish working on the mods for my Executor Fleet. As you can see, I've not finished BAM. Uh, where's the other character I've not finished? Cab Bane, there he is. All the other ones have got 6 stop mods on them, which is nice. Which being Bosk, Boba, and IG it was, wasn't it? So that's nice. We're getting that. So this video, I'm recording this video Wednesday night, but it will be coming out on Sunday. So it is going to be a bit behind to when I'm actually coming out. So that Sunday, this Sunday, it's coming out. So the day you're watching this, I will have executor, but that video won't be coming out until tomorrow night, so the Monday, because I'm a I'm away, which is why I'm pre-recording this video. Got to keep that content coming for you guys, and I so you know. What can we do? So we'll have an executive video on Monday and a, like a Grand Arena recap for round two and three from the previous round. So if you are interested in that, please hit that subscribe button. All right, I'm going to stop selling out now and carry on with the account. So Sif Eternal, you know, we got him a while ago now, probably, a, a, I don't even know when we got him, a good few months ago now. So he's still at Relic 6. I do want to bring him up to Relic 8. And I think um, once I've unlocked SLKR, which will probably be the end of November, if I am a... Uh, if I'm if I'm predicting it right, I'm a, I'm guessing around the end of end of November. I'm gonna bring him straight up to Relic Eight. I'm already farming the aero magnifiers and the impulse detectors for him, and then after that, once I've got enough relic mats and stuff, I'm gonna bring S uh Sif turn up to Relic Eight as well, just because I feel like he needs it. Relic Six for a Galactic Legend, you want to bring him right up and then be your top characters. So I do need to do that. I should have done that right away, really, but I didn't, which is a mistake. Of course, PX Relic 8 now for the Executor, you know, doing really well. All of these are just requirements. There aren't really many characters that are not requirements other than who. Cad Bane's not a requirement. Bam's not either, but he'll be going up to Relic. So, I mean, they're not requirements, like, first-time requirements, but you do want them at Relic 5 for the Executor. GK's not, I just had the gear for him sitting around, so I put it on. I thought, why not? But other than that, not a lot has changed recently. Of course, got my first order up now. Would have just been a video that gone out a couple of days ago showing how I've modded them and how I'm going to mod my Supreme Leader Kylo. So if you're not seen that, go and check that out. But yeah, now now that real time me and not past me, which is me talking to you, has finished Executor. What I'm going to be doing is working on the relic levels for what's he called slkr like i'm farming up veteran smuggler han i really don't want to do i don't want to be spending 300 crystals a day refreshing my cantina nodes that's the problem because i really need to spend the time uh my crystals saving them up so i can get the finalizer done as quickly as possible because i'm either going to need 5,000 or 6,000 crystals for that and i've only got 2,100 so that's a shame but as you can see, I did spend some of... The, the reason I'm not bringing Bam right up to Relic 5 is because I did spend them on getting crew up to Relic 6. But shh, don't shout at me, please. Got Huxy Zeta, which is nice. You know, it's a really solid Zeta. It does quite a bit for him. You know, uh, going to all allies advantage. Enemies can't gain bonus. Turn me. I really wish I omega this. I really wish... I really wish I read it before granelino you know, locking phase because i didn't have enough zetas once i realized how good his leadership actually is so i'm having to use cruise leadership which is a bit of a shame but the relic levels are coming in nicely of course you know i spent i spent so much time and so much effort farming up these characters you know i've been absolutely slaving away doing this it's taken all my time and resources and you know i'm glad i'm finally be able to reap those rewards of all my hard work but <laughs> And for the ships, yeah, finalizes four out of eighty because if we go to ships, 
and we hit the first order button. It's over here. I can never find it. The Kylo Ren Command Shuttle at 26. I'm refreshing that once a day at the moment. Maybe twice if I feel like it. But I'm not. I'm not paying crystals for extra energy because I'm. I am saving up, which is. Uh, I really don't know what to do with that. I'm really trying to just figure out the maths between my crystals, like income and what's the opposite of income. I don't know. I don't care that much, to be honest with you. But again, the tight echelon is not needed for the finalizer event, which is nice. But I am starting to farm this up on my fleet nodes because it is what makes the ship work. It makes the finalizer be able to counter some lineups of the executor, which is really nice. You know, it's going to be a nice off meta way to counter it in GAC if I come up against it at any point. Of course, not farming up the tie dagger because though it is a first order ship, technically, realistically, it's for the Leviathan in it. And I ain't getting that for years and years and years and years and years. So I ain't even worried about it. So yeah, that will of course be the lineup. We'll start with the Silence of Kylo Ren Command Shuttle and Tie Echelon in the start slot and bring in the TIE Fighters as backup. I do need to level these up for the finalizer event really, but um, I'm saving my fleet currency for my executor because of course that is my priority really. Because of that, cause that extra crystal income, which is nice. But other than that, what else has changed? Oh, Datacrons. I am I loving my Datacrons at the moment. As you can see, I got rid of my Set 10 ones. I think in my a couple of videos ago, I did still have them. But if we go from... Can I flip through these like I can characters? Nope. If we go from worst to best, this one's quite dead. Honestly, I, sh I really want to re-roll re re it, but I just don't have the points to. I've already re-rolled it once and still didn't hit anything. I'm only going for Dark Side ones, so I don't have any Light Side characters that can really use Data Crowns other than Bam, Jedi Anakin, and GK, but they're not really going to form a team themselves. So this one has crit damage, health, and protection, which is mid. Game, every time they gain tenacity up, they gain protection up, which I have no use for that, to be quite honest with you. But then we start actually getting some decent Data Crowns. We've got this level 6 one for Uthus, where they gain protection up at the start, and whenever they use a special ability, they gain repost for two turns, and it has health and health steal, which you know it's a very solid data crown. Can't get complain at that one too much. We'll go nicely with crew and Kylo Ren on the team in 3v3 Grand Arena. This is the one I've still got on, on defense at the moment for my Imperial Troopers. You know, the, the stats aren't great. I could do a re-rolling them, but I do need to fully unlock it, of course. So you like crit damage, protection, defense, and accuracy. It's spread out a lot. An extra 55 cent defense is nice. This one, level 3 is not great either. They're, whenever there is the debuff, they recover health and protection, which they're not really going to be doing. They've not really got high tenacity in my Imperial Troopers. But at the start of the battle, they gain 400% offense based on their defense, and then they lose defense. So they're going to be hitting hard off the start, which is key. And then I've just got this one after this level 8 one here. I got this after the locking phase, so... I didn't get to use it on my crew, Kylo, and Hooks team. But this one is a, a really nice data crumb. We got it all the way up to level 8. So, because even Relic 3, that was the greatest change ever being able to use level 3 characters on this. But we've got crit damage, we've got health, we've got more crit damage and protection. So, it's a really solid data crumb. The level 3s, whenever they use the basic, they gain crit chance, crit damage, and offense up for two turns, which we all know how important that is. Then whenever a dark side unaligned force user allies, so Kylo Ren and crew for me, getting a buff or a debuff, all unaligned force user allies gain extra defense. So that's going to make crew so survivable. He's just going to tank and sponge damage. So by the hit contact coming along nicely, I did say I'm going to be focusing on farming these, especially for 3v3 because there's so many teams I can use them for now. Even my bounty hunters I can use them for, which is great. Because like I can just shove on like this team of Boss Boba and Dengar as a team and just run with it on a data cron. But yeah, the, the account is moving along very nicely. Of course, I really do want to get one up to Relics because he's so much better. He's, I don't trust him at all now. At all at, at game 9, I'm pretty sure that is. Let me just double check. Gear 10, so close. But I have applied his Omicron and his Zeta. So of course, after SLKR, we will be going back to my Jabba farm, which you can still see here. I'm not farming them at the moment because all my energy is going on scions no for the command shuttle and then onto Kyrotech for what's he called veteran han so i'm not farming up these nodes right now which uh, it is taking a blow to the speed of my roster but getting sl carry is much more important right in this moment god my throat is getting dry i've recorded like three videos back to back now so yeah the first order team is coming along very nicely 
what else is happening on the account. Just the Zeta crunch. I'm gonna because I'm gonna have to start saving up Zetas, saving up Zetas for SLKR because of course you want to get all six of your Zetas on SLKR as soon as possible. I don't know whether to just apply one more and then start saving up. I think might be the play. So I'm really split between Cruz, Preton, and Civ Troop and Zeta at the moment. So I don't know which one I'm going to apply, but I'll probably just apply one of them and then start saving up my Omegas and Zetas. But it's the Omega Crunch. I wish that store pack, that free store pack, war still had the Omegas in it because that I Omega'd everyone on my account from that. So I really wish I had a, that option there so I can get all these Omegas because that's what we're, I, I'm sure most of you are crunched on if you have a Resistance or First Order teams now. Is your Omegas and your Zetas. You're just not going to have enough which is a shame because you can't get that full potential out of them, but, you know, it's fine. My camera is dying. That's fine. We won't be recording this video for too much longer anyway. But, yeah, as far as the ships go, if can I get a bounty from the ships? Yep. We've got the entire fleet set up now. We've got R5s and R8 across the board for these four ships. And then we've got the Razor Crest, who it will be Relic 1 probably for a while, but it'll be fine. I'm really just hoping to push into the top 10 every now and again for it where i can once it loads we'll go to the arena table as my opponent attacked yet nope so you, you would have seen this video on wednesday night for this first round of green, grand arena the other two will be a post -com video in a bit but fleet arena i'm starting to struggle a bit I, I, i'm trying to just keep it in the top 20 i can do it each day but then i get kicked right back out I'm meant to go to ranks so we can look at my shard like the top 10 we've got a finalizer i could beat that with a uh, with an executive fleet so i'm going to be just trying to poke into that top 10 from next monday onwards or next next sunday onwards maybe i don't know what day it is but squad arena i literally can't get any higher than like 90th because i could i can beat this team so i'm lying to you there i can beat that team i just don't want to use it what on his own because he just gets absolutely massive turn just gets absolutely turned apart but as you see it's just SLKRs as far as the eye can see at the moment. And Sif Eternal's just everyone's everyone's getting SLKR. There's no there's no uh what's it called on a lot of them. Like these ones have of course already got it established, but I'm sure if we could scroll to the bottom we'll start seeing them without a um Are we gonna see any we saw one without a um an ultimate. But yeah, we're getting we're getting it closer and closer to SLKR every single day. Which is really, really nice. Guild's going nice as well. Events, it shows these. In Conquest, we have finished Conquest. We've got all the way through to Sector 5. So when we hit that 4 million GP, what we don't have to worry about finishing Conquest, we can just jump straight into Hard Conquest, which is amazing. Other than that, I think that's about it for an update on the account. Not a lot has changed since the last one because I'm just kind of slow farming everything at the minute while I'm trying to save up crystals. But yeah, the account's going great. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how your accounts are going. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps the channel out so much. Hit that like button, comment, anything. I don't really mind. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be the executive video tomorrow. So thank you guys, and I'll see you later.